I was born in Española, New Mexico. Lived in New Mexico for 18 months where my mom and dad moved us to Los Angeles, California. Then from there I got a scholarship to the University of Portland. One day I'm looking through windows at the art building and I'm saying, I can get A's in that. And so I switched from business to art. I was studying to be uh, a master's in art and one night I had a, a beautiful epiphany. The room went dark. A voice said, weaving will be very important to you. The lights came back on. I, I walked outside and I said, who spoke to me? Who could have shared that with me? You know, who, what spirit? Well, it wasn't until years later that I found out that my mother wove blankets, that my father's side were all weavers. And so that spirit obviously was one of my ancestors telling me that weaving would be very important to me. When I began as a fiber artist, which I'm distinguishing myself compared to a, a painter artist, I realized that weaving on the loom could ex be expressive for three-dimensional artwork. So I began using a technique called double weave, which is two layers, and the two layers then open up to become a sculptural form. My ideas became material-based. So as I began experimenting and interlacing these materials, they became a statement of surprise, like, what is this very pretty thing that's on the wall? And then you walk up to it and you realize it's, oh, it's stitched microfilm, or it's stitched mylar, or oh, they're pictures. Because when you look at an artwork of mine, which is seven by seven feet, which is the scale I love to work in, you're environmentally exposed to the idea to begin with. So material became the message. And I realized there was a lot of linear material made in industry that could be interlaced, handwoven, you know, whether on a loom or on the wall, but could be interlaced and be expressive. So my investigation of making weaving an art form moved from the loom to working on the wall where I could see the full image. Besides these materials, I was given microfilm, and then I re-rolled all this bank microfilm, which had little tiny images of the check front and the check back. So there were all these wonderful little images. When I made my first piece, sewing all the material together, then hand weaving it on the wall, it looked like an aerial view of Los Angeles city landscape. So I called this the first body of work Cityscapes. So the micro 16 millimeter microfilm evolved into 35 millimeter microfilm on top of mylar. And that evolvement led me to pattern, led me to then drape grids, to now the current work, which is an evolvement of working from images of three basic sources that I look at in my readings. The Urantia book, the Bible Revelations book, and the spiritual imagery from the Hubble telescope and Chandra telescopes. So that's where my work is now, and that's the evolution, and I can't wait to continue to finish this work and actually share it with people. I'd like to introduce at this time my assistant, Ken Minter, whose help in my studio since I retired is so essential to the scale of the work that I wish to create. Without this young man, I would not be able to do this work. The wonderful thing about art is that it's magical. You don't look at the process, you look at the vision, the beauty. It takes a long time. A long time. Lots of hours, lots of patience. Lots of sewing, lots of broken thread, yes. lots of re-sewing. Very methodical. Very methodical, yeah. To make something look spontaneous, you know, and beautiful. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Oh, no problem. <laughs>